This exercise should be performed on a flat slope, free from traffic and other obstacles. So, we've mastered changing direction with an A-frame turn, and have developed a more efficient and powerful stride. Now that you know how to get it going, it's important to be able to control your speed. There are a number of ways to do this, but the easiest is to learn to use your brake in different settings. An easy way to get familiar with using your brake is to start on grass. Find your athletic stance. Flexing both knees and ankles, advance your braking leg forward about 6 inches. This is called the narrow scissors position. Then push the heel of your braking leg into the ground. Perform the same movement on a flat piece of pavement without moving to get used to the quicker reaction of the smoother surface. Now that you're familiar with the technique, let's get rolling. Take a stride or two on flat pavement, then, while well, in a glide, advance your braking leg into the narrow scissors position. Practice finding this position while skating around. Feeling comfortable here will be key to trusting your brake when it's time to use it. The narrow scissor stance allows you to put your center of mass directly behind your brake, so simply push with your heel into the ground. The harder you push into it, the quicker you'll come to a stop. A narrower stance produces less torque and makes it easier to stay in control while stopping. If your legs are getting too wide, try it again on the grass to slow things down. Practice first on the flats to get used to how long it takes to come to a complete stop at various speeds. After you're comfortable stopping on the flats at different speeds, it's time to start experimenting with different slopes to see how your newfound braking skills hold up. Try slowing yourself down with the brake pad, but not stopping. Speed control is an essential part of skating, no matter what terrain you're on. You should review the guidelines about green, blue, and black skating terrain. Even with great braking technique, you may pick up too much speed on anything but a gentle slope. As you move forward with the program, always know your limits in terms of the slope of the hill. Only skate on slopes that you're 100% confident that you can actually stop yourself on.